Hello again. I'm Anne with Personal Chapters, here to talk again about capturing your personal history. And today I'm going to give you your first assignment. Through the process of helping people capture their stories, I have facilitated three different memoir groups. And the one I have going currently, of course, we can't meet because we are under stay-at-home orders. And this is really difficult for me, and I'm sure for them. So many of them have captured their stories and learned so much, and our, our meetings are almost like therapy sessions. Everyone seems to come away with a better sense of who they are and the struggles that they have endured and come out better on the other side. One of the first assignments that I give in these memoir classes is to start a personal timeline. So I want you to take out a piece of paper, preferably a ruled sheet of paper, notebook paper, legal paper, and I want you to start numbering on the left in columns down the page and start with the year that you were born. And I want you to number those years sequentially all the way until 2020. And in each of those years, take a look at them and see if you can record on the same line as the year significant things that happened that year. Of course, the year you were born and followed by maybe when your siblings were born and later on when your children were born. You might want to record when you went into the military or when, when you graduated from high school or college. Uh, maybe there was a trauma of some kind at a certain time. So at first, this is a very difficult exercise, but the more you try to connect significant milestones in your life to the year, you'll be surprised at how much your memory comes back and uh, you'll recall other significant things that happened. And then when, when you get a few things put down, set it aside, but always have that handy uh, when you're trying to capture the stories of your life. I think you'll find that it's a good memory starter. And then you might choose to take one of those significant aspects, take one of those years, and just write very quickly whatever you can remember of the, about that event. Don't worry about spelling. Don't worry about grammar. Just get the memory captured. And then put it in a safe place. Put it in a loose leaf binder or a box. Uh, later on, we'll be talking about better ways to preserve the treasures of your life, more meaningful things. But for right now, just start capturing the memories. And I'm sure that on the 2020 line, you'll have something written about the year of the pandemic. So start gathering the memories and we'll talk again.